from welcome back to part two of preparing signatures for binding books I've gone ahead and finished preparing the document that we uh, were talking about in part one if you haven't seen part one it's just to go back and watch that unless you've already got a book you're ready to print I'll put a link to it uh, up the top right of the screen here or down in the description below so go check that out before you start here Okay, so my Word document's all finished and set out how I want. I've added my title page. I've gone through and checked that I'm happy with how the book's laid out. Now it's time to produce the PDF that we'll need that we'll separate up into sections afterwards. So in Word, just come up to File, go down to Export, and here we want to create PDF document. Select a place for it. This is where I keep mine. Publish. I've already done this once, but I'm just going to replace that, and it's all done. All right. Once we've got that, let's just go check out that document, and make sure it all looks okay. Okay. So now we're in the folder that I saved that to, and here's the PDF. We'll open that up, and got a couple of blank fly leaves there. 1984, and there's the book. Now these fly leaves I added in because I'm going to be producing my book in 16 page signatures and when I did the calculations for my book 475 pages I wanted to just add a few more pages into it so I thought a flyleaf at the front would be good and that helps get it up to a multiple of 16 or a bit closer to a multiple of 16 but you'll note that 475 isn't a multiple of 16 and we'll discuss more about how to fix that when we use the software that we're going to use. I'll put a link in the description below to some to a page, it's a really good page talking about different impositions. Uh, we'll be printing in four page impositions. That's with uh, one piece of paper has four pages on it, two front, two back. It goes into a lot more detail on different impositions up to uh, 16, 24, and uh, there's different ways to fold it. So uh, I'll put a link to that down below. It's pretty interesting reading if you want to do more than just four page impositions. All right, the software we're going to use today is uh, this Bookbinder 3.0 by Quantum Elephant. As you can see, it's not been updated for quite a few years now, but that's fine. It does what it uh, sets out to do and uh, doesn't really need a lot of changes made to it. So it's not, I don't think it's being supported anymore, but uh, like I said, it's still a good program to use and I still use it. Okay, the downside to this software is that uh, you require Java to be installed on your machine to run it. Uh, Java is just a runtime environment, I won't go into the details of how it works. Uh, the link to it is on the Quantum Elephant page. I'll put a direct link to the Java runtime engine that you need to save you a lot of stuffing around. Okay, it'll bring you to this page, the Java download for you. This is obviously for Windows. So Java download, you click this button, downloads software, uh, just a normal Windows installer. So you run that and then you should be ready to go with your bookbinding software. Okay, once you've got Java installed, come back to the Quantum Elephant page and you want to download bookbinder version 3.0. Okay, that's downloaded a zip file. If we open up the zip file, we can see Bookbinder 3.0. There's not a lot in here. The source files, a quick readme file, but the main one we're looking for is this bookbinder3.0.jar. Just copy that to somewhere on your computer. Just keep in mind, the place where your signature PDFs will be saved is where you're running this from. So you can move this to any directory, really. Uh, I put it in the directory that I'm going to be extracting that I'm going to be creating my signatures in. So I'll just copy that over now. I'm in the folder that I work with and bookbinder3.0.jar. I'll open that up. You just get this simple little UI here. So file, open input PDF. All right, navigate to the folder that has your PDF that you extracted from Word. Double click that and it opens up here. All right, once you've got the document open, you can see some information about the document here. Make sure it matches it doesn't really differ from what you expected it to. 475 pages is what we had. Okay, I'll, I won't go into detail about all these options. Uh, you can look on the website, it's actually got a very detailed uh, help on how to use each of these sections. The main things we want to look at here is the printer type and the double sided or single sided. So my printer prints duplex, so duplex I'll give you some more information on this alternate page rotation when we come to print, but for now I'm going to deselect that, keep everything at full paper size. I don't need a flyleaf, I added that into the book myself, that's that blank page at the start. Signature format. Anything I don't like about this software is this standard signatures 
uh, the software uses eight pieces of paper as a standard signature. I like four pieces myself. So you come to custom signatures and you got to type in 44444 four, 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 until see the total pages under the signature info there is going to come to just more. So there we go, 480. That's five pages more than what our document has. Okay, once we've done that, generate document and we'll see that a folder has been created for the files containing the signatures. Open that up and we've got one file for each signature. So let's get started printing. Our first signature is opened up now and I'll just show you the way it's laid out to get the proper brochure format. So page one will be page 16 and one of the book, two and 15, 14 and three, and so on and so forth until you get to the middle two pages of the signature and we've got eight and nine. Those are the two pages that you'll fold in so that they're touching together and that'll give you your book that once you've folded it will read from pages numbered 1 through to 16. So to print it like that there's a few options you need to make sure are selected. So file print. All right, make sure you've got your printer selected and that you're happy with all of the uh, settings you've got in here. That's different for every printer. Pages to print. We want all pages and we want to reverse the pages. Size and handling, you want it to fit the piece of paper, or I do anyway. So you may have prepared your book to be a certain size and then you'll trim it down later, in which case you would print actual size. You don't want to select poster, multiple or booklet here. We're just printing the pieces of paper as they are. However, we are going to print on both sides of the paper. So remember we removed the flip alternate pages or whatever it was called in the duplexing option in the software. The reason for this is if you have this option here, flip on long edge or flip on short edge. If you flip on short edge, you don't need to alternate each page. So if you imagine this is a document you print out for work that's two pages, that's uh, double sided, you put a staple up in the top left hand corner here. And then as you flip it, you're flipping on the long edge. So the top of this page would then be the bottom of the next page as you flipped it over. Because we're using this we're actually turning this 90 degrees and using it like a booklet, we need to flip on the short edge and if you do that you don't need to alternate every other page and if you don't do that then it's easier if you're flipping through the document, the actual PDF document to see if there's any problems. So once we've got all of these settings, so you hit print and that'll come out on the printer. I'll go grab that in a second. Okay, we're over at the printer now. Document's finished printing it up we can see immediately page 8 and 9 are the ones that are going to go together so we'll fold it so that they're touching each other and first thing we'll do is just have a quick flick through and we'll make sure that uh, all the document the pages are in order everything looks right One, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, twenty, fifteen, sixteen. Everything looks good. I'm happy with the sizing. I'm happy with the margins. We can go ahead and print the rest of the document. So that's all there is to printing out your pages. You go through, print out the rest of the book. Quick tip though, make sure you open up the next signature before closing the previous signature. That way your print options that you've set up will be saved and you won't have to redo it every time. So thanks for watching, if you've got any questions or comments leave them down below, hit like, hit subscribe and uh, stay tuned for some more videos in the future. I'll probably be doing some blind tooling in the near future so I'll see if I can get a video up about that. Uh, thanks.